I'm left-handed, so this is a miracle. Did you just break something? No! I shot it in between the two poles. All right, well, we are back at the house today. Um, the house is cleaned out completely with help from our friend DJ, who is Colonial Clean Out Services. I will get a nice, good picture of his van. Um, but we also have Serve Pro here with us today. Um, our buddy Mike is here from Lancaster, I believe is where he's out of. Um, he is here from Serve Pro. He is analyzing all of the mold that is accumulated in the garage because there's moisture in the garage i'm not sure why so he's gonna be checking that out he's also checking out the the attic situation because we had to have mold remediation done on the house years ago so he's assessing that and seeing if it's if it's still good or if we need to have it done again um and maybe have a way to mitigate that from ever happening in the future we also have the contractor here today so today is going to be a very busy day going through stuff figuring out our plan for the house. It's gonna be a fun day, because the house is empty. Well, supposedly. Supposedly the house is empty. We're gonna go check it out. How's it going out here? Hey. Awesome. Oh, Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> Classic. Oh my gosh, you got the couch in there. Very good. Yeah, all the big stuff's out. Awesome. Most of it. Everything else is all right that's in there. That's crazy. And there's the food supply that's supposed to last 10 years and did not. I think some of them are labeled for 30 years. Really? 25 years. No, definitely yeah. not. <laughs> no, it smells really bad. Sorry, wise company. Uh, we put you to the test and it did not survive. <laughs> Oh man, that looks like a good vase. Yeah, it was. It's broken. There's a nest in there. Oh, there's a nest. Oh, oh, a nesty nest. Very fun. So obviously stuff like this, right? Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately. I'm putting like household and like building supplies that are still in the box. We're gonna, I'll put that all off to the side. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say. Yeah, those are the books in there. Do you want okay. me to start like like the kids stuff, make piles of all. What I think's Yeah, probably. Like I would love to save the beanie babies. I don't know what shape they're in. Uh there was a hole in the bag though. That's not good. I don't know. Maybe they can be salvaged. No. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Yeah, obviously these, this chair can go in and other stuff. Oh, all the VHS tapes. You know, I'll put all the kids' stuff over here. All right, thanks. Um, is the contractor here? I believe so, yes. All right, cool. I'm going to head in and see what's going on in there, and I'll be back out. Uh, over here in the middle of the roof, there is one spot where the plywood bubbled up. Okay. That's a sign of moisture. Okay. Making that do that. Yep. Now, I don't know whether it's blowing in the uh, red vent and coming down. I don't know that yet. I almost have to open it up and look at it. Then I can kind of trace the stain on the plywood to where it, where it came in. Were you in the attic yet? No, that was my next step. Yeah. Maybe you could tell But from I there. wanted to come up here and see what I'm looking at on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. And That's great news. Way down. I, I, I was wondering where you went, and then you just like popped up, and you're like, "Hi." <laughs> so, is it, are those are those um, shingles? Are they like just turning up on the end? Is that what no, they're doing? No, they're good. They're solid. Everything's laying. So, down is that place. growth that we're seeing that's on, on it? Because it looks from down here, it looks like there's a bunch of crap on it. Where's that that one spot that's got something growing out of it? That was this gutter. Now, the one mm -hmm. thing I would do is get these branches cut back. Yeah, they are. So they're going to do guy that. He's going to be removing a bunch of dead trees that and tree trimming needs, some of yeah. the stuff. Oh, yeah, he's going to cut that one down. Yeah. And those ones, he's going to trim this one, that one. Yeah. And he's going to take wow. down three, that one. Yeah, two point nine seven eight. Sweet, just falling wow. something. All right, well, it looks like the 30 yard dumpster. 40. 40? No, I think this is a 30. Your dad told me 30. 30 yard dumpster is. 
is full. Well, kind of. We're gonna start throwing stuff over the top. Oh, Walter's shutting the door. Walter, you're not gonna be able to shut it with all this stuff. Yeah, hold on, let me make some room for you. Sorry, what gives me my color, too? Whose bike was this? Um, I'm not sure. Is it a good bike? Yeah. It was. A fat boy. Yeah, they ain't I'm assuming we'll want, we'll want to put uh, insulation up again. Yeah, well, once this old stuff is down, we check the inside, make sure it's... And then put new insulation back up. Okay. Yeah, we'll go. Some old glasses. Fun old glasses. <laughs> There's a cool tractor. Heck yeah. It works. There it goes. It works. He goes over my house clean out I did. Now isn't it ironic that now we're cleaning out my garage from the house clean out that I did? There's another thing. It's a big one. Oh, we all had one of these when we were a kid. <laughs> Does it still have the little thing? Yep. yep. All right, let's see you play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I can't play that. <laughs> it was pretty close. That was good. He's cute. <clears throat> This mostly this is oh, all right. I'm like, check out this vase. A nice McCoy vase? What? This is like, oh man, it's just this creepy little Easter. <laughs> you know, I know somebody who might like that. Yeah, there's some good stuff in there. I'll grab a banana box. Okay. We can put that stuff in a banana box. Cool. I wonder if it works. Need a little grease, maybe. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, those look moldy and musty. I think they're my size. <laughs> little Fisher Price Snoopy Dog. There's another one. What? See, you're on camera. Oh my god. <laughs> I saw you think about it when you saw the camera, and then you're like, I'm just gonna say it anyway. Oh, uh, rotating sand? Yeah, what are, yeah. Those are, those are good stuff, yeah. Dolls. Oh, God, look at him. There's zombie apocalypse. Yeah, seen better days. Zombie apocalypse? Zombie apocalypse, G.I. Joe. Oh, look at it stick. Is this any good? Uh, it's a old. deep sea rod. Uh, deep sea. That's rod? an older one. It could. It could be. It's kind of value with that old kitchen stuff. Penn Senator. 
I'm left handed, so this is a miracle. Did you just break something? No! I shot it in between the two poles. He was a bear. Fuzzy was he had no hair. Fuzzy I mean, they're not covered in mold. They're just musty. I'm gonna try to save those. Uncle, Uncle Wiggly and the peppermint. What's this sealed in the bag? Is that it is comic a book? black bag, Death of Superman. The one I've been looking for, but this one's in shot shape. It's probably. in a sealed bag. Yeah, it's just got the armband. No, that's nice. If this if this wasn't all like curled up, I probably wouldn't open it, but it's all curled up. It should be card. No armband for you. It's probably inside here somewhere. But yeah, this is the death of Superman issue. Huh. See Very how cool. it's all curled up though? That's not a bad thing. Well, that's because... He can't die. No, he can't. Oh wait, there's more. There's a whole bunch of them. They were on the floor though. Oh, this is going to be heartbreaking. Yeah, they're shot. Just throw it right in the dumpster. I'm not even looking. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Look at the mold in there. They're like sticking together because they're wet. Oh, here's another sealed one. White? That was where he came back to life. Issues one through three. The only one that's sealed. Okay, well, I just opened this. And I have no idea what's even in here. It smells like lamp oil, honestly. Oh, it's a fairy light. There's another fairy light. And there's an oil lamp. That's why it smells like lamp oil. It probably got put in here full and leaked out on all of this paper. Yep, there's oil lamp pieces in there. Yikes. It smells real bad. Also, there's some oil right there. <laughs> All right, so we did have the garage cleaned up, but we're kind of using it now as like a storage area. Eventually, this is going to be a living space. This is gonna be a, a great room, and I'm knocking down this wall. That was one of the discussions I had with, um, with the contractor today. We're gonna to knock out this wall, and it's just gonna extend into this previous garage space. So here is the laundry room, all cleaned up. Um, we have the HVAC guy coming out to look at, oh, I don't even know, I don't even think that is HVAC. Um, our contractor, Dean, took a look at it. He said, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just sloppy, the way they put it all together and all of that. So it's just ugly, is what he said. <laughs> He's like, there's nothing wrong with it. It looks like it's all done correctly. It's just ugly looking. So I don't know if there's a way to hide that or what we're going to do with that. I kind of almost wonder if... Since we're gonna use this as an Airbnb, if we can slide this over and maybe put up a wall. I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about that. Um, all right, let's see here. I'll show you guys the almost empty house. Give you another tour of it, because the last time you saw it, it was pretty bad. There was a fan blowing, so 
bear with me. Here is the bathroom. We are replacing this. We're pulling that out. We're gonna get a replacement for that. We're gonna just take out the tub and put in a shower. I guess that's all the rage is just to have a shower and people don't usually have tubs anymore is what I'm told. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I remember replacing this toilet, but it's just so gross now that we have to replace it again. This was Ashton's old room and it's pretty much cleared out except for the furniture. Up there is the attic. Um, and we did have our buddy out from Serve Pro to check that out for us. He said it looks good. He said there, you know, it, it still looks good from the last time we had the mold remediation. So next step is getting the insulation up there because it was never insulated. Come this way. But I can just imagine that wall not being there and having like a sitting area down there. I mean, it's really gonna pull everything together. The kitchen is in here. I'm not sure. I don't think we're gonna replace the cabinets and the counters. Um, I think we're gonna just paint them white possibly, take out the hinges, um, give them an update. They're all empty here. Um, I like the Whirlpool dishwasher. You know what? Oh God, I haven't even looked in here. Oh God, okay, well, we're gonna have to ditch that. I don't know why I opened that, that's disgusting. We're gonna throw away the dishwasher. And the couches are all gone. And it all needs to be repainted. It's pretty sad looking. Pretty sad and empty. The porch still has a bunch of junk on it. Um, Dean had said that we can replace some of the, um, the deck here, uh, power wash it, make it look really nice. We don't actually have to replace the entire deck, which will be great because it's expensive to get lumber these days. Um, this door is actually the front door and it is a sliding glass door. I don't know why when we bought the house, they had already replaced the front door with a sliding glass door. We are going to take out the sliding glass door and put in another front door so that this will again be the front of the house because it makes absolutely no sense why they did that. Usually if somebody's front door is a front door. We've got, this is, <laughs> this is the bathroom that needs entirely replaced. Uh, we have to replace all of the plumbing. Here, this room right here, this was my bedroom. <laughs> Crazy. Um, slide this. Dean uh, noticed that one of the pipes was leaking up here. So every time we leave the property, we turn off the, the electric and the water. So it's never running when we're not here, but there is a slow leak from that right there. So he's going to tear out all of the plumbing and replace it, which just needs to be done. So this here is my old bedroom. This was Juliet's room. She was so little that I actually had a crib in here. Uh, that's how long ago this was. And her crib was over here. I had a sign above her crib that said Juliet. Beautiful valance there. Her little rocker was in that corner. And um, this is her room. And then this is just another family room, I guess you could say. I think uh, we would probably, I don't know if we would make this a, a study or maybe, even, I mean, technically this could be another bedroom, but I don't know. Probably make it into like a family room. There is a fireplace behind there, um, but 
the chimney needs to be fixed and that's why when we lived here we never did anything with it because it was just no good but it is a wood stove not a fireplace we should say it's a wood stove so um, with an airbnb that's not really something i want to have available to people because that's how things get burned down so we'll probably stick something in front of it <laughs> um and out here you've got a patio which needs to be reclaimed So there you go. That is how the house is looking now. And of course, I'm gonna keep you guys updated on the progress, but it is now empty for the most part, besides furniture and other whatnots. My sister is going to take all of these baby clothes. She said she'll even take the girl clothes just in case. <laughs> There you go. You're gonna film the yeah, full we're dumpster. Full. We are full! Well, I mean, there's still some room for a little crap in here, but for the most part, it's full. Yeah. You'd be surprised. You can still get a lot in that top. Yeah. It's just a matter of getting it down in there. Yep. And I know what y'all are thinking. Oh, there's good stuff in there. There's good stuff in there. But you know what? I don't mess with mold. And the garage is really moldy. And we, we're saving what we can. But the good majority of this is just covered in mold and muck and bleh. Mouse, Mouse and animal feces. And I know that stuff's cleanable in some respects, but time-wise, it's really not worth our time to mess with some of that stuff. Um, there's plenty of really good stuff left in the house, in the garage. Are you happy with today's results? And yes, yesterday's results? I am. We got the contractor in, we got the mold remediation in, we've got a new dumpster coming. HVAC guy I got coming tomorrow. It's H, yeah, HVAC is yep, tomorrow. Yep, HVAC is tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think. Well, I think we're looking at about 50 grand worth of renovations. 50 to 55, because we added some stuff there at the end. Probably be closer to 55. Yeah. So, it's a little spendy, but. It's got to get done. At least it's going to be nice. Yes. Yes, we'll be in good shape. And I can't thank DJ enough for coming all the way out here. Pleasure. Right. Hey, what's what's the name of that 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 crooked cleaning service you offer? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, Colonial Cleaning. We service the Lehigh Valley. Uh, we specialize in uh, tile and shampoo and, and extracting carpets. But we do anything: general cleaning, uh, restoration. You guys do a lot of office complexes too, don't you? Yeah, we do uh, office maintenance and whatnot. Basically, anything that has to do with cleaning. Cool. Awesome. Dirty world out there. So if you guys have a uh, house you need cleaned or cleaned out, that's the man to call. Absolutely. But, all right. Cool. We're going to get some lunch and uh, lunch figure time. out the rest of the day because we got other crap to do today, too. Yes, we do. Dumpster. Anybody want to dive in the dumpster before no, we go? thank you. I've already Are you sure? It. Okay. All right. Bye. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.